come how to solve for a in this nice exponential equation from here we can derive it as 3 raised to power 3 then raised to power a then minus 3 square then raised to power a which is equal to 3 raised to power a then from the law of indices you can interchange this power and this will be 3 raised to power a then you raise to power 3 minus 2 raised to power a then raised to power 2 then equals to 3 raised to power a from here then we have 3 raised to power a common so let a letter b be equals to 3 raised to power a and then from here we can write this now and this will be p raised to power 3 minus p square then equals to p then let's take everything to one side and this become p raised to power 3 minus p square minus p then equals to 0 and from here we can solve this and we have p common we can factor one p out and we have here we have p square left then minus p left here then minus 1 left here equals to 0 so here we have two cases we have here is p equals to 0 or we have p square minus p minus 1 equals to 0 then from here we can solve this quadratic equation using the quadratic formula which is p equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a here a equals to 1 and b equals to minus 1 b equals to minus 1 so therefore p here equals to minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 then times 1 times minus 1 over 2 times 1 then here we have p now to equals to 1 plus or minus square root of here we have 1 plus 4 now minus times minus here yeah, that's plus then over 2 so here give us p now to be equals to 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2. So also from here we have two values of p and uh, which is p now before we can say p equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 then here we have p equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 and uh, we should recall that we represented p as 3 raised to power a from here so when we bring this which is 3 raised to power a now for the first one we got here which is the first case because that will be 3 cases now for the first case which is p equals to 0 so we have 3 raised to power a equals to 0 from here there is no solution yet no solution yet because this has to be greater than you know 0 yet so no solution on this side then for the second case here which is <coughs> your p equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 here p is 3 over 3 raised to power a which is equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 from here you can take the log on both sides and this will give us log 3 raised to power a equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 and applying the law of logarithm, we take a here and this we have a log 3 now equals to sorry please what we have here is 
log. We are clicking log on both sides. This is log 1 plus 5 over 2. Then A has come to the back here and then we have log 1 plus root 5 over 2 here. Then we can divide both sides by log 3 from here. We divide this by log 3 and also this by log 3. And this we cancel out and we have A equals to from change of this. We can rewrite this when we have log A over log B. This can be written as log A base B from change of this. And uh, this will now become log 1 plus root 5 over 2 base 3. So here we have the value of A in this on this side for case 2 and for case 3 here as well when we look at this B is also 3 raised to the power A which is 1 minus root 5 over 2 here will be a positive number and here will be a negative number and which will not be equal here so here as well there is no solution on this side there is no solution on this side so the only solution we have here is from the you know case 2 here which is a equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 base 3 and thank you for watching don't forget this steps Subscribe for more exciting videos. Turn on the notification bell. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. And see you in the next class. And bye for now.